folks, Dirty here for Premier Basics, and there are actually two different ways of creating a countdown timer. Well, probably more, but I'll show you two techniques. For the first one, we're gonna head over to the new item button in the project panel and choose to create a black video. Drag that over to your timeline, perhaps above another clip. Next, head over to the effects library and look for the time code effect. Drag that over to the black video. Now, from its settings, there are a couple of things that we want to change. You can deselect the field symbol, and for the time code source, we're gonna choose generate. This allows us to set a custom starting time, which is usually gonna be zero. So that already gives you a count up timer. It can't count down, but we'll deal with that later. Now, if you want to reveal the background, you want to change the blending mode of the opacity to screen, or you can also change it to multiply and have an in-text video. That's up to you. Now, we can reposition that timer, change the size and everything. Unfortunately, there are no font options, but that's for the second countdown technique. All right, next up, look for the crop effect in the effects library. We've seen that effect before. Drag it to the black video as well. This allows us to crop a part off from the time code as it's probably too long. When you're happy with how it looks, right click on the black video and choose nest to group it into another sequence. Oh yeah, this removes the blending, so change the blending mode of the nested sequence back to screen or something else. Anyways, we can now right click on the nested sequence, choose time and duration. And from this pop-up window, we can check the box to reverse the clip, and that gives you a countdown timer. Super easy. Three, two, one. Fire. Now what if you just like to count down from 5 to 0 and get more control over the style and the animation? Well, that's where the second technique comes in. But first, have you checked out Skillshare yet? Well, I don't only want to thank them for sponsoring this video, but also for filling my brain with creativity on a daily basis. Skillshare is an online learning community filled with thousands of inspiring classes. And recently, I watched a class from Julian Klepper on how to make dope low-budget films. Now, he covers the entire production from writing your movie to pre-production, shooting, and finally the editing. It's a to-the-point class with short lessons, which makes it easy to follow. Definitely with how Julian explains his thoughts and experiences. I definitely learned a ton of new things, definitely about writing, useful tips and tricks to help me better form a story that could work with a low budget. Most it's definitely a class that I can highly recommend if you plan on making a short film as well. But apart from Julian's class, we can find so much more in the different categories, such as video editing, visual effects, filmmaking, and much more. And as you guys know, I also teach at Skillshare, and recently I published my brand new class about Unreal Engine 5 for beginners. It even got staff picked by Skillshare, which I'm pretty proud of. The website is ad-free so that you can focus on learning a new skill. You've added subtitles on various languages, and everyday new premium classes are being published. And if you're one of the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description down below or use my code Springer Basics, you will get a one month of free trial of Skillshare. So definitely check that out, and I really hope to see you guys in one of my classes too. All right. For the second countdown, I'm gonna take the text tool, click in my program monitor and simply type a list from 5 to 0 under each other. You can even write it out in words, that's up to you. Now since we're working with a text graphic, we can go into the essential graphics window and change anything from it that we like, such as the font, the color, perhaps add a stroke around the numbers. One important setting in here is to align it to the center though. The rest of the styling is completely up to you. When done, reposition the text, but you'll notice in the effects controls that we have three different motion properties. One is for the vector motion, which are all the layers within the graphic, one for the text layer specific, and one for the clip or the layer itself. I know, this can be confusing at times, and the funny thing is that none of these motion properties are of any good. I'm actually gonna search for the transform effect in the effects library and drag that over to the text layer. There we go, a fourth motion property. <laughs> you wanna make sure that it sits above the text though. So we're gonna use the transform effect to align the 5 in the middle of the screen. Now, the reason why we're using this transform effect is so that we can enable motion blur later on, something that we can't do with the other three motion properties. All right, next up, look for our little friend crop in the effects library. I told you guys that this is the best effect out there. Drag it over to your text layer, but make sure that it sits above the transform effect. This allows us to crop and only show the 5. 
Now, when we now change the position through the transform effect, you can see how we can reveal each number. So create a keyframe for the position, move about a second further in time and create a new keyframe with the same value and go forward a couple of frames and push the text layer up so that it reveals number four. Then go forward again by a second, create a keyframe, go forward a bit and move it up. You want to continue to do this for all the numbers. Now, when done in the transform options in the bottom, set a custom shutter angle of 180 degree to introduce motion blur. And if you dislike the hard edges caused by the crop, you could increase the edge feather from it a little bit. That is again up to you. And this gives you a countdown timer that with the right voiceover looks really cool. Five, four, three, two, one, drop the feet. Now, who's already a member of the Like Army? Put a comment down below to let me know. Engagements like that is really fun reach material for me in the evenings, and it helps support the video in the YouTube algorithm. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Skillshare, for the support. And as always, stay creative. Now, here on my left, I got another cool video. So check that out. And you see new tutorials every single Wednesday over there in the subscribe button. Take care, wash your hands, and stay safe. Goodbye.